Hello Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I hope that you're all having a fabulous day today. I'm going to take a look and see what it is that's manifesting for you, what's coming in, all the messages and advice that you need to know. So whenever you do see this, it will be the right time. As always, take what resonates and leave out the rest. Practice using your own discernment. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am spiritually goldie on all platforms. And if you are interested in a personal reading done by myself, I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you all with the link to my website spirituallygoalie.com for you to view all of the different options for readings. Okay, so you're about to have a huge realization, an epiphany moment. Answers that come through meditation for some of you um, with the hermit. I feel like you've been distancing yourself more and more from a, a situation or you've been having more and more doubts over a situation, whether or not you should actually um, take a risk toward this or not. You're about to come to a realization though, okay? Um, something is coming down, okay, with that tower. Something is crumbling, a situation that wasn't serving you, okay? So you're being kind of forced to release an attachment to an outcome um, or the fear of not having this in your life anymore. What is it that is breaking down here? Okay, the foundation is is breaking down. Okay, I see that this is... Okay, a person could be a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Some of you are, have been dealing with or... Um, I see somebody was like really focused on themselves or to the point of like only focusing on themselves, only being like very, being very like uh, self-centered or selfish. So a foundation is breaking down where you weren't really a priority or you're starting to realize like, wow, like I wasn't a, a priority or I wasn't, um, I, this person or this situation couldn't see my my worth okay um you may end up finding out somebody has been looking at other options or other choices here so yeah like um a foundation that was built off of um confusion or deception is breaking down and you are this is all part of like your own success story with this ten of pentacles you're slowly moving towards a lot of personal success, great fortune in your life where things are just going to look good. Fin fin finance is gonna look, are going to be looking good. Situations with your family, your home is going to be looking good. Okay, you're moving towards um, becoming like the best version of yourself, the emperor. Becoming the most stable and efficient version of yourself. But you're going to be taking charge of a situation pretty soon. Or making really ambitious plans moving forward. This was the only, this was the last... Um, this was that last step that you needed to take in order to become this, this um, heightened or level... New level um, version of yourself. Okay. Yeah, there's some sort of opportunity that I see you taking here. You have options. You have offers, multiple offers coming in. And someone like really focused on themselves to the point where like they they didn't even see that you had op you had options too or you could you could have had options too if you if you chose to uh handle things in in the way that they were handling it. 
Mm, yeah, I see you. Um, you do. Maybe you're, you're still feeling really uh, upset by all of this. Making a judgment. Making your own judgments about this situation. And choosing to take action in a new direction. Like, it's like you are coming out of this completely new. I only got the Six of Swords. Yeah, you're you're realizing somebody wasn't being honest. Now tell me about these Seven Cups. Mm. You're about to get a lot of attention. Um, good attention and not so good attention. Uh, people that are only going to be really kind of um, focusing on what they could get out of you because you are showing up as someone who has a lot of security and stability in their life or they just see the potential of what you could become rather than like what's on the inside or what really counts. If you do have someone in mind, think of them. Let's take a look and see how they feel about you, about this situation with you. Okay, yeah, that Five of Swords keeps coming out. So, mm. there's definitely, like, n no trust. <laughs> there's no trust here. You don't, you both don't really trust each other. Where are they looking at Taurus as a Seven of Swords? Okay. They're seeing you as not willing to make a decision. Um, yeah. They're seeing you as like not willing to make a, maybe a, a better decision. They feel like you made a wrong decision in regards to them. Or this situation, they feel like you you may have um, acted based off of an, an impulse. And you're not sure which way to take things. But they're going back and forth here on their own decision. Whether or not to um, plan a partnership with you. Or go in a different direction. Let's clarify this moon. So as their actions it does feel like they're wearing a mask it's like they're wearing a mask themselves and so they see the worst in other people or they're seeing the worst in, in you because this is a projection of them Yeah. I see this person still being very secretive with um other options or the fact that they're they they are looking at other choices or other options. It's like they feel like they need to have like a backup plan just in case type of situation. Or like, okay, let me let me keep these options open just in case this doesn't work out. Or just in case um, Taurus decides to go in a different direction. As they're going back and forth on this, on um, what de what they what decision they want to make, you're already distancing yourself. Or you're like, you're already running. <laughs> You're already like, oop. Someone's mask fell off. You're 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 pulling away from this. You you're gonna end up meeting someone who's gonna be a a big um guide in your life. Alright, so you surrounding yourself with um 
older people or people that have a lot of wisdom that are going to guide you down a new road in your life. Okay. Ten of Wands. This is the end of a, a burden. The end of a situation that has been really heavy on your shoulders. That you've um, really burnt yourself out with or, or exhausted yourself with. That is the end. The end of a hard cycle. Okay. Someone was making life harder for you. And you're now making the the right changes that you need to make. Some of you are going to end up taking um, a different approach towards towards life or towards um, your own your own spiritual growth. So I'm getting like a message oh my gosh we got the empress we got the emperor and the empress so you're coming into alignment with someone who your soul is more um connected to okay i'm seeing a lot of abundance coming your way you have so much abundance coming your way and it Separating yourself from this is only adding to your life, not taking away anything from your life. Okay, you're about to have some sort of like huge breakthrough. I'm seeing the numbers uh, 9, 5, 4, 10, 7, 11, 9, 19, those numbers could be birthdays, special days, synchronicities. I'm seeing the letters P, F, M, H, N, Y, R, O. Those letters could be in your name or someone else's name. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.